Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Access. In this module, I want to show you how you can create a student database from scratch. So first of all, blank database, you need to name the database. So I'm just going to call this students. So this is the name of the database and it's going in documents and then you just click on create. It already defaults for your first table, but I'm just going to close that one off and create my own tables. I want to create three tables, one for schools, one for courses and one for students. And then we'll go through the process of linking those up. So first of all, create table. Table design, that was what it was on, table. So this is what I'm going for, table design. And then you get this screen where it gives you the field name, the data type, of which there are many, and a description, which is optional. So the first field name, let's go for courses. I'll go for course ID as being a primary key. And I'll have that as an auto number, which means every time I add a new course, it will increment by one. That's the default setting one. Then I need the different types of courses that I want to list in my little database. So I've got course ID. Now I also need to have fields to link this to students and school. So I'll go for student ID, which will be a number field, and school ID, which will also be a number field. So those are the fields I'm going to link to. So student ID will be the primary key in the students table, and school ID will be the primary key in the schools table. In this table, courses ID needs to be set as a primary key, like so. So that means it's a unique unique identifier, can't have a duplicate. Now, and I, wanna, I want to list the courses, and I want the columns in this table to be the courses, so I can then have the students completing with a score the course. So let's go for the first course, which can be maths, English, and then you can just add more courses if you want. Um, let's go for German, French, some language courses, history, and geography, and so on. So these are all text fields. And you've got in there, if I if I drop this arrow down, you've got lots of different types you can have. So there's lots of date, time fields, currency if you've got money, yes, no. If you want to do a pass fail for this, but I actually want to put some figures in here, like what a student scored, for example, I would want to put in there. You could have it as a pass and fail, it's totally up to you how you do this. And you've got all these other options down the bottom there, which we'll have a look at at a later date. I'm just going to save this table. So to save the table, up at the top there, it should start with TBL table. And this is courses. So this is courses. OK to that one. Now I want a new table. I'll close that one down. I want a new table. Create again. Table design. This is going to be students. So I'll save this one straight off. TBL students. So in this one, I need it to be half student ID. Didn't like me saving that at that time, when I didn't have any um, fields in it. It will do now. So student ID also can be an auto number, and that'll be the primary key. Now it should let me save it. Oh yeah, there we go. So what I want here is the name. In fact, I put student name to make it because it doesn't like using name, student name, address, postcode. You can split the address down more than that if you want. And postcode, and I'll have date joined just to put some date fields in here now that wants to be a date time date time and when, when you do a date time you've got 
some options down the bottom here properties there it says input mask if I go in there three little ellipses at the end there I can change the format yep I'll change the format to a short date so basically that's what's going to appear in the columns so you can't type the word August for example I'll just finish that one off so that's going to have that format on there so student now what I need to do is put the fields in for this other table so course ID and perhaps uh, school ID so I can link them together so I'll put course ID which is a number field it's an auto number field another one and I need to spell the thing right course ID student ID so these are the what's called the foreign fields from the other table and that's going to be a number I'll just save that for now and close that and then I can have details in um, not student ID school ID that'll be school ID I'll save this and I'll put some records in later on so I'll close that down so if I go and look at courses that's what the table is going to look like so I'm going to be putting scores there for people so I'll need to link it to students the student table is just the same you got your course ID and things like that I'll close those down close that one down and the last table I want to create is table design these are schools so we've got school ID also number and that's the primary key for this one so we just want school name school name and address I'll just leave it as that come back and fix this or add things to this later on but what I want to do is just to make sure TBL school that the link works and then you can get rid of fields that you don't need or add ones that you do want so now we've got three tables and to link these tables up we need to go to database tools relationships and then we just need to pull these on add them across like so so you've got three tables and you've got three primary keys you just expand them so you can see all the fields like that so one student can do many courses so student ID from this table to student ID in that one and you should be able to get a one to many now if you tick this enforce referential integrity that means you cannot add a student in this courses table unless they exist in this table so that's a safety mechanism so that's a good thing to do so I'll create that sometimes when you've got records already in tables you can't actually do that because somebody would have already typed a student ID that doesn't exist in this table and that way you should go into courses and make sure that's all sorted out but I'll create that and you'll get the one to many symbol one to infinity now a school can also do many courses so school to school ID one to many create so that's the links you've got there one school can do so this courses table is like a joining table so I'll just leave it like that for now and I might have to come back into this later on and just change this as I'm building this up or if I need to add extra fields I might have to break some of these links before I can uh, do certain things but that's that's the structure I want at the minute so I'll just click save on that and then it's a case of just adding a few records and seeing how this sits so I'll close that down so if I create a student, so I'll create myself, Steve Saxton, to Red Road, postcode NE11RT, and date joined today, say. Now what I've got here, I've got a problem here, so I don't know what the courses are. I can't select a course there yet that doesn't exist, so I need to open courses. And there I've got a student ID and school ID where I haven't got any information. So I need to go into 
school or maybe create a school so I'll just call this Butter Shaw Bradford that'll do so I've now got a school so I close the school down the ID for the school is one but I can't actually see that so what I need to do here is go back into design and do a lookup for both of these so design so student ID what you've got is the option of a lookup down there or if I go where it says number drop this down you can go to lookup wizard for student ID and see what it does part of one or more see there it's on the relationships it's not liking it if you want to change this you've got to delete the relationship so we're back up there and I'll just knock that off you can redo it later on okay that's because this is open and I'll just close that down as well so now I can delete these yes I'll do that one as well and do that later on so then we'll go back into courses so I need lookups to the other two tables from inside there which will then affect this go back into design lookup so I want the lookup field to get values from another table yes I do so this is the courses table I want this to look at the students next and I want it to look at student name I'll bring two across actually both of those student ID student name in fact if I do it the other way around and then student ID see what happens here not bothered about it being sorted so hide the column yep so it's just going to show that that's what I want next now this is what I was showing you before if you do this manually this relationship tick that that needs to be ticked data integrity and finish yes now watch what happens here. if I go into that relationship window it hasn't put anything in there but if I close this and close that I'll just say yes to that for now and then just see what happens when I open that up it's created that relationship for me so I, don't, I didn't have to do that manually so if I close that down again, yes I do want to save it I can do the other one from the courses table so if I go back into courses this time right click design view so that was the student one done so that's got the lookup values all down here look now you cannot you can do all this manually if you want but I think using the wizard is quicker so I'll do the same for the school so go down for the lookup wizard and same option I want the lookup field to get values from another table next this time it's going to be the school table next and I want the school name and the ID and then that's all I need next that's what it's going to look like next tick this finish save close let's have a look at the database window relationships are exactly how I did it before manually but this time because I've, un I've used the lookup wizard it's done it all for me with the correct one to infinity symbol one to many because I take that enforced referential integrity option that's what it's done so two ways of doing that it's up to you but let's have a look what that means if I go back to yes if I go back into courses I've got a look up for students and school now if I go to students I've just got one record which is me now on there I might not need these two fields because it's a bit of a duplicate because this table has got that information in so what I'm going to do is go into this and delete those two now watch what happens here if I go into into design on this one and delete these two fields yeah it comes up and tells me again I've got to get rid of the indexes
got rid of it save close back to database tools just check the relationship still intact that's good so now students has just got names and addresses and courses has got the foreign fields of the other two tables and school has just got an address as well so the outside links if you like students and 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 um, schools are just addresses all the details of everything is in this so if i wanted a new course i drop this eye down he's doing the course that's the school and then you get you'd put in the scores and in this example this is not about um what courses are you taking this is a table of results so let's say um got 89 in maths we've got um 56 in english 54 in german 34 in french 89 in history and 90 in geography and that's about how i would have been you've now got some information there about this particular student so i'll close that off and you want to create a new student you just go and do another one so dave jones underneath one red road they all live next to each other any one one rt and he joined today as well and then if i close that one off back to courses and now you would have in that drop down you've got both of those people now if i add a second school if i go to school and county high leads that's all i'm putting in there close that one down school you get that appearing in this, this this drop down because that is looking at that table so that's all i want to do on this little session but the next session we'll look at creating some queries to start interrogating this so you can have um see what people are scoring on different from different schools from different courses whatever you want to do we'll just interrogate this table We'll also look at doing forms and reports at a later date. But hopefully this has got you going, um, setting you up. And thank you for your time. I'll catch you on the next one.